Hello everyone, it's Fine City, and today we're gonna look at how much Binance coin you actually need to retire if you wanna be chilling on this beach right here. So let's get right into it. One disclaimer, all crypto is crashing right now, so we're gonna use an ultra conservative price for Binance coin for the purposes of this video. So first of all, let's talk about, well, how do you actually know how much you need to retire? There's this awesome, awesome community online called the FIRE movement. And what FIRE stands for is the Financial Independence Retire Early. So these guys have basically gone out, looked at, hey, what do we actually need in order to retire? Given the median wage, given a slightly better wage, given like a very, very nice lifestyle. And the very nice lifestyle is called Fat Fire. So that's obviously the one anyone in the crypto community will be targeting. So let's get into it and let me show you what I've got. So as you see here, I've got a crazy, crazy spreadsheet. But what you need to know is basically this part here that I've highlighted, which comes directly from the FIRE movement. And what they have done is set here different kind of annual income ranges. So if you want to live on $48,000 a year, which was like the minimum, if you want to live on $60,000 per year, which is like the average wage in the United States, or if you want to live on six figures, 108K, that's here. And if you want to just be a crazy guy on 240,000 US dollars per year, well, that's there. And the retirement number here is basically how much money you need to have invested in the broad index market in order to be able to retire on this income. And so let's break down this 1.2 million that you would need for this 48,000. And let's go into paint to describe this properly. So you have 1.2 million in year one. Now, what are the factors that will affect how much you have in year two? Well, the first factor is how much you take out. The second factor will be how much your investment goes up. And the third factor will be very, very fun term for anyone in the crypto space, inflation, right? Because inflation basically means you have less spending power than you did in the previous year. So 1.2 million this year, actually buys less than it would buy next year if you have inflation. So that's why inflation is also here. So this amount here, how much you take out, has to add up to this number here with the annual expenses. So let's say you wanna take out 48K every year. Well, assuming that your investment goes up every year by about 7%, which is about the average increase in the stock market. And we see inflation of 3%. Usually it's 2%, but 3% is kind of a conservative number, right? You always wanna make sure you're on the safe side, especially when you're talking about investments. So that's why we're using 3% inflation here. Well, if your investment goes up 7% and you have 3% inflation, hmm, well, the difference here is actually 4% that you can take out without affecting the purchasing power of what you have invested. So that's how you actually come to this rule that you can take out 4% every year and you will be able to maintain your purchasing power indefinitely, like for however many years you want. So if you take 4% of 1.2 million, you end up with 48 K. And that's basically how this annual expenses and the retirement number was calculated. So we are currently in a downtrend and the price of BNB is about 434 US dollars right now. But since we are entering a bear market, let's use a number of 250 US dollars where hopefully Binance coin is going to stabilize around that price. So let's say one Binance coin is equal to 250 US dollars. And let's say you start with $10,000 that you want to put away into something that's going to take care of you in retirement. We're going to play with this number later. We're going to drop it to like $1,000, 500, 200, and see what that does. But let's start with 10,000, which I think is a reasonable amount that most people would be saving up. If they really are serious about their retirement, they could probably save that in one to two years. So that's why we're starting with 10,000. That's why the current price is 250 US dollars for Binance coin and if you started with $10,000 and the price of Binance coin is 250, the price would need to go right now to $30,000 per Binance coin in order for you to be able to retire today. That's what this table here on the top shows, right? The price that BNB would need to appreciate to right now in order to retire with these levels of annual income. Now, 
That's not a very useful assessment. So let's move on and bring in some factors that actually make this calculation useful for us. And one of the biggest things we need to consider is if we remember here on this paint model, we came out that you can take out 4% every year because you have a 3% inflation and your investment is going up 7%. We need to adjust these for the reality of Binance coin. So the biggest one is that with Binance coin, by putting your Binance coin on the network and saying, hey, I want to be an active participant in the Binance coin network, you are rewarded currently with 16.5% more Binance coin at the end of the year. That's like your reward for participating, which is absolutely crazy and blows away the 7% that you would get in the market. So that's the first factor that with cryptos on a proof of stake, consensus model, you get staking rewards. It's very, very, very important. The second one is that Binance coin, at least for the next eight years, is going to be deflationary. This is because they started with, I believe, around 200 million Binance coin. And every quarter, they're going to burn some of that until they get to 100 million. And their plan is to get there within eight years. So I've already calculated it. That gives us a 6.5% deflation rate every year, which means that, you know, when you have inflation, your money is worth less every year. When you have deflation, your money is worth more every year. So this 6.5% is very, very positive for anybody holding Binance coin. And I could as well increase this by another 3%, right? Because, well, not only do we have Binance coin actually burning every year, about 6.5% of the Binance coin available, we also have regular global 3% inflation. So we should actually add those two together and get 6.5% from them actually burning the Binance coin plus another 3% because we have inflation, but since there's a finite amount of Binance coin, that Binance coin is going to be worth more every single year because the dollar value of that should catch up to match with inflation. So let's go ahead and add that actually, because it makes the numbers even crazier. And I had initially left that out. I'd actually forgotten about it, but it makes the numbers even crazier. So if we then add up all of these together, you can take out 26% of your Binance coin at the end of every single year and maintain your purchasing power. That means you can take out one fourth of everything and still have your whole purchasing power. So whereas here with the regular stock market, you could only take out 4%, right? You need a very high retirement number in order to compensate right that, right? Like 4% of a very big number versus 25% of a smaller number gets you to the same place. So that's why when you don't account for staking, deflation, and inflation, you need 1.2 million US dollars in the bank. But when you account for those and you invest in Binance coin, you only need 184,000 US dollars in order to retire today, which is a reduction of almost 10 times. So that's the power of the staking rewards right now. They just give you this kind of guaranteed investment return. And if you really want to be crazy and you wanted to say, hey, okay, that's fine. But we also predict that Binance coin is going to go up in the future. Well, if you assume that it's just going to increase at the market rate of like 7%, let me add that here. That gives us like three plus seven is 10. Well, that changes the number even more. Now you only need 145,000 US dollars to retire today. But let's not include that. Let's say Binance coin doesn't appreciate in value at all for the purposes of these calculations. So that's for the first eight years. Now for the next 30 years after that, we're not going to see Binance coin being burned anymore. So we lose this deflation adjustment, right? If they're not burning it, they're not reducing the supply of Binance coin. The supply of Binance coin is fixed. It's finite. It's not decreasing anymore, but we still are going to have this 3% inflation. So that's why I'm going to leave this inflation adjustment that we had here. In this case, it's working positively. Remember finite thing that has inflation means that the price is going to go up in order to match that inflation. So instead of being able to draw down 26% of your investment, you're only going to be able to draw down 19.5%. So instead of one fourth, you're gonna be able to draw down one fifth. So guys, 
Now that you know how I've calculated it for the given time frames, I'm just going to put this 8 years under like 10 years, and then we're going to go look at 20 years and 40 years, and those are going to be using this adjustment going forward, right? But for the first 10 years, we have this crazy rate of return, and then we have this still crazy but slightly lower rate of return. So let's move on to the Binance coin in 10 years and ignore this. We're going to come back to this in just a minute. So if you start out with $10,000 and the price of Binance coin is $250 in order to retire in 10 years, this would need to go up to 1,796 US dollars. At that price, you would be able to retire indefinitely. And that's taking into account these numbers right here. So currently we are at around $434, so it would just just need to 5x from here. But if we're using this more conservative 250 price, well, we would need to not quite 10x, but I assume it's going to be around 7x the price from where we are now within the next 10 years. But guys, if you just account for inflation, well, the price of Binance coin should increase just by inflation to 336 US dollars. Now that doesn't get us to the price we need right here of the 1.796 thousand, but it gets us closer, right? We're assuming we're starting with 250. Let's move on now to 20 years. Well, in 20 years, we will need 524 US dollars in order to retire and just from inflation, we're already getting to 451.5 US dollars. That's bringing us very, very close to the amount that we need to retire. Remember, assuming just inflation, assuming there's no kind of fundamental increase in, in the market capitalization of Binance coin. So zero growth for Binance coin, just inflation. That's what we're going with here. Move forward to 40 years and we only need a price of Binance coin of 33 US dollars in order to retire. And if you look at just inflation, you will have coins worth 816 US dollars, which isn't even on the charts here. So remember guys, in order to retire in 40 years, with a very high comfortable level of living with like 240,000 US dollars income in today's money, the price of Binance coin would need to drop to 167 US dollars. But if you just take inflation, we're going to be up at 815 US dollars. Now, let's figure out how many times that is this to see exactly how much you're actually going to be able to retire with in 40 years if you put $10,000 into Binance coin today. So if we take what we expect the price to be just from inflation, assuming zero growth from Binance coin, and we divide it by this price here to live on 240,000 US dollars a year in today's money, that gives us a 4.873 multiplier. So if we multiply 240, thousand times what we would need to have this level of life well we end up with an annual income in today's money of approximately 1.169 million us dollars that's the power of inflation that's the power of having these crazy staking rewards that we're seeing right now if you did nothing and you just put ten thousand dollars into Binance coin right now, you would retire in 40 years with an income of over a million dollars every single year. Now, okay, most people don't need to have an income of a million dollars every single year. So let me go ahead and highlight this cell. And this is where I was going to start talking about what happens if you don't have $10,000. What happens if you have $1,000? Can you still retire from that? If you have 500, if you have 200, if you have $10, well, let's go ahead and adjust that in this cell right here. And we're going to check on this price down here because I've made the formulas nicely that the second you adjust it up there, it's going to adjust down here. So remember, this is your income level in terms of today's money of how you would be retiring in 40 years. So let's go ahead and adjust this down to 1000 US dollars. Well, if you put 1000 US dollars into Binance coin, you would be retiring with about 116,000 US dollars, which is still an absolutely phenomenal level of annual income. Most people would be overjoyed with that income. I'm sure I would be. So that's with $1,000 into Binance coin. I think most people in the developed world could put together $1,000 within a couple of months for sure. 
Now let's go down even further. Let's say you put away $500. Are you still able to retire? Yes, you're able to retire on 58,000 US dollars per year. But if we take now the minimum amount that one needs to retire in the United States of 48,000 US dollars, let's see what number we put here gets us to 48,000 in the final calculation. All right, guys. Uh, this is this is actually hilarious. So I was adjusting the number kind of manually. Yeah, you could get the exact number if you just do a quick formula, but I was just adjusting it manually. And the closest I could get is here we are at 49,000 US dollars and look at the parts. It had to be 420. So if you were to invest $420 today into Binance coin, so basically you're buying one Binance coin, it would allow you to retire in 40 years quite comfortably, which I think is just absolutely mind blowing and crazy. And that's the power that we have here of these staking rewards. So even if you say, hey, okay, but I don't have a time horizon of 40 years. Well, what's important is that you need to extrapolate forward and say, hey, okay, this has a time horizon of 40 years, but if it's like one of the best investments I could make right now, well, in the short term, it's also one of the best investments I could make right now, right? So I would say that's the correct way of looking at it, even if you have a short term outlook of one, two, three, four, five years, you should really look at it that way of like, hey, what's going to give me the best return for my money right now? And currently, it does seem like Binance Coin will be doing that. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, one big caveat, we are in a bear market right now. I would hold off on buying any kind of cryptocurrency at the moment. It's not financial advice, but just go ahead and look at the charts and we're probably in for a couple of tough months, but once the price is stabilized, the staking rewards are probably still going to be this high. And that would be the moment where I think from the analysis that we've done here, it would make sense to kind of load the boat on Binance coin. So it's absolutely crazy, but basically one Binance coin would be enough to retire. Now, we've gone through the whole video, assuming zero market growth for Binance coin. What happens if we just assume the regular market growth of about 10% for Binance coin? What happens then? And this number is coming from the 1995 to 2021 average return. So if we go ahead and we click here, I can show you exactly how we got there. We started in April of 1995. We ended in April of 2021. We pressed calculate and assuming we had dividends reinvested, which we can assume because Binance coin isn't going to pay any dividends. Well, we would have 10.352% annual return. So that's kind of the number I've used here. I guess when I did the calculation, it was slightly different, but basically 10.5% is the average market growth rate. And if you take that into account and we say, hey, this investment is going to grow at just the market rate for 40 years. So now we're taking away any of the inflation, staking, deflation adjustments. We're saying purely, hey, it's going to grow at 10% every year. Well, we would expect the price of Binance coin to go up to almost 14,000 US dollars, which is once again, I would say quite a conservative estimate. So if we return to our example of putting $10,000 into Binance coin right now, and we adjust this formula quickly. So instead of taking this 815, it's taking this price here, which we calculated with just the average market rate increase. Well, you would be retiring in today's money with 20 million US dollars every single year. And if you were to then go down and you say, hey, I only have $1,000 to invest. Well, you would be retiring with $2 million per year in today's money in 40 years, which is still absolutely insane. And once again, this is a conservative estimate, which is the crazy thing here. And what's powering this whole thing is this kind of insane annual growth, which we have here with a mix of the deflation and inflation and the staking rewards all put together, which gives us these actual crazy returns in the market. So as long as we have these crazy staking rewards here and Binance coin manages to maintain and stabilize its price, which is a big if, but I do think it's a strong project. I do see them stabilizing very, very soon. Well, with just $1,000, you would be retiring realistically with close to 2 million, according to the numbers that we've used here, which 
in my opinion, have been quite conservative. If you put $100 away, okay, I think most people, almost everybody has $100 that if they wanted to, they could put into Binance coin right now, you would be retiring with $200,000 every single year. So guys, I rest my case here. Basically, Binance coin has absolutely blown me away and that's basically a factor of these crazy staking rewards and another one that has a very high staking rewards which is more or less a decent project is polka dot so polka dot would also be one to look out for and i've made a similar video on cardano which is quite crazy still but maybe not as crazy that a hundred dollars is going to let you end up with two hundred thousand every single year it's not that crazy but it's still pretty insane because with cardano you have a staking reward of about seven percent and guys the craziest thing is if you put just fifty dollars you will be retiring with a six-figure income so guys if you found this video interesting and you learned something today and you found this analysis absolutely crazy i certainly did i did not expect to get the result that we did well i would hope that you would consider subscribing if we got smarter together and guys make sure to go ahead and smash up that like button so more people know about this crazy staking rewards and how it really will have an impact on your investment gains in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.